What's up, everybody? Kane here, and I thought it would be fun to do a Balloon Star Defense Battles 2 uh, Season 5 recap. So we're going to look at the, the top 100 leaderboard, talk about the uh, last season's meta, um, as well as talk about uh, you know, how the, the new patch is going to affect, or at least how I see the new patch affecting the, uh, the meta going forward, as well as uh, some of the new features and game modes. Um, but let's jump into it. Um, I apologize in advance for my mouse or cursor being upside down. I don't know, like the the game just gets read upside down by OBS, and I've got to flip it in order to uh, make it look correct. And I don't know how to fix it, but complain to Ninja Kiwi. I don't know. But anyways, uh, for our top ten, we've got Secret OP Strat, Ninjaya, Sambo, Wizkid, which is Freelo, Glen M, uh, Ryan Maholic, Tyler, Update Flash, he's Reflect, and then Void. Um, so here we go, 9 out of 10 using the, the farm tower, Secret OB strats primarily doing uh, ninja farm, uh, no, druid some farm, uh, ninja is also doing the druid some farm, Sambo mixing up, I think he was also rocking ninja out farm, uh, I did see him do some boomer sub ice at some point, but I don't know if he finished the season doing that, um, then obviously a lot of people using bomb sub farm, map dependent, uh, free low also sticking with the farms Glen M sticking with his farms but Glen M and secret OP strat always play the farms different because they rush before round 30 right most people just you know ramp eco forever but those two get you know congrats to them they actually know how to rush the, with balloons uh, Ryan farm Tyler mixing it up the only one in the top 10 not using farm he was doing balloon eco with boomer sub ice um, and then everyone else I believe was farm players uh, the next 20, um, Adam Fig gets the honorable mention. 11th, not quite the top 10. Next season, we'll get the uh, those top 25 and top 50 badges, so it'll make grinding in the uh, the top 100 at least a little bit more incentivized because it doesn't matter right now if you're 100th or 11th. You get the same badge. Um, here we get uh, three uh, three people mixing up the meta. GU Immortal, uh, Feline Gaming YouTube, and JD Awesome, right? Instead of running like farm and winning, what they're doing is running lag and winning. It's because you know, if you if you go against a lag player with eco and you get one yellow balloon every six seconds approximately, give or take, um, then yeah, you end up with 1600 eco round 30, and it becomes very difficult to win. Not impossible. <laughs> they're that bad, but it's just that much harder. Um, but otherwise, mostly people are rocking farm. Um, one T100 win kick W I believe was a uh, Tyler alt so uh, yeah another another player there um, it's, uh, oops not Adam so Mr. Seventh place here also rocking the 18th place um, otherwise you know King L5 Asian sensation with Mer um, a lot of people mostly rocking farms CEO BTD and uh, yeah. Looking at the patch notes, uh, nothing changed with farms, so you're not going to see it too much different this season. Uh, the big thing is um, DJFN, which was already kind of on its way out. Like People still use DJFN, but it was pretty map dependent. People were finding other farm comps that were better in certain cases, certain matchups. And DJFN was you know just one of those farm comps, but um, we'll see what happens this season. They, uh, the... Big changes to uh, Dartling um, makes it a lot weaker early game, so uh, maybe you just don't run DJ, but uh, we'll see. Otherwise, you know, farm farm is here to stay. Bombs of farm, druids of farm, not not affected one bit. So uh, yeah, it's that that's our season six meta already mostly determined. But that's only for ranks. Uh, we've got two new game modes. Uh, random quads obviously been here for a, a bit, but speed battles. Uh, so speed battles, it's looking like uh, the the game is accelerated from six second eco cycles to 4.2 seconds, and uh, all the balloons, whether they're AI and player sent, are accelerated to match that. So the rounds last proportionally the same amount of time they last now uh, in terms of eco. But obviously the balloons come out a lot faster, a lot denser, and so it's going to require you to buy a lot more defenses. Uh, the other game is going to be playing with fire, where uh, the only difference is you get double eco from balloon eco. And uh, 
doing some math, as long as you survive round two, you're you're going to be just fine. You're going to have so much money. Uh, the big thing there also is that uh, the the balloons are sent on both sides of the field. So beginning game, you get like a double red rush. Or, you know, it it just gets super thick. So you if you can survive round two, you end up with extra money and you can invest in your defenses. Uh, you just got to make sure you can survive round two, and you'll be good to go. Pretty much every game should go late, but you know we'll see. Yeah, you know, white wastelanders surprise you in all the ways that they can fail. But um, the the my expectations is going to be a lot of uh, village super because you, you have stupid amounts of money, so you can afford these overpriced, mild improvements to towers that can go extremely late. Um, other people have mentioned like some kind of combination of ng alk and ice because you can do the uh you can send regrow leads to yourself so you can just ice regrow farm it into an alk farm uh you know rubber to gold lead to gold farm and just make obscene amounts of cash uh, and then also you can eco into yourself so ng will always work um so we'll see what happens there uh, it's gonna there's gonna be a lot of late game i expect but you've also got a lot of money to rush so who knows? Um, should be fun. I expect the, the new game modes to be a lot of fun, but ranked, um, I'm not too optimistic about. I'm expecting a ton of farms um, and not too much to change in terms of meta this season. But, you know, let me, let me know down in the comments below. What are your thoughts? How do you, how do you think the season's going to go in terms of uh, what, what's meta, what, what's going to be on top? Uh, any new comps that you think are going to be viable based off of the, the patch notes? I think uh, people are already making tack farm whiz go to round 30, so hey, one more way to be a passive farm player, but uh, I don't know, what are your what are your thoughts? Leave them down below. Otherwise, um, I'm going to wrap that up there. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, that's going to be all for me. So, see ya!